knuckles cracked. We're prepping ourselves for surprisingly a Friday. I didn't think it would get here. Feels like there's been three Thursdays this week. It's been a weird one. But here we are. Working for the weekend. And we're finally here. Starting a game. This game's called Geo Better World. Apparently it's an editor's choice. I think it's just another thing just like uh, Diverse World. But this is an editor's choice. So we're going to see who, how well this choice is. And was not very aware of the fact that there's uh, editors for this. I always think of editors in like the book sense when they're correcting people's uh, uh, papers and novels they're making. I don't know where this is, but I'm just looking to see if I can't. Lagos, okay. Well, now I have an idea as to where we are. I was surprised. I, th I thought that Lagos was the capital. I think it was for a while, then it's gone to Abuja recently, I think. I could be mistaken, as I usually am with things. Uh, anyway, let's, let's get ourselves in this. Oh, excuse me, that, that just came on. Very quickly, um, let's get this out of the way. All right, we're in Okada Junction, Jacondo. Ajangabadi, maybe Ajangabadi is the town and we're in the province of Lagos. I don't know, oh, yep, there we go. Here is Lagos, which has an end somewhere. Oh, it is. Okay, all of this is Lagos, so we're gonna go for Ajangabadi. Not seeing it, at least not yet. This is a very, uh, stretched out province here interestingly set up with weird little road specs everywhere i'm not seeing town names anywhere though uh, i think i'll put us here unless i can't okada we look for okada junction um not seeing it i'm close though this one seems maybe a little bit more accessible than some of the previous ones I've had this week, because, oh boy, some of those got bad. Evolite International Nursery Primary Schools. What do we got here? You got the alphabet. You got apples, books, cups. Are there ducks in Africa? I mean, I'm, I'm sure there are. I just never thought of ducks in Africa. I mean, there's Egyptian geese. I've heard of those, and they're kind of like ducks. That cat's missing an ear. Snail, bone dog. What do we got some sports? What are we playing? What are we playing? Come on. Uh, soccer, jump rope, some basketball, English. What is a noun? That was one thing I hated in school. It's my inability to understand like things and sentences. I mean, I knew what a noun was. I couldn't tell you what like a verb, adverb, adjectives, things like that. I think I've got a little bit better of a grasp on it, but not enough to be like confident if I saw a sentence, I would be able to nail every single part of the word. Can I get over there? No, I guess I can't. What are we selling here? These tomatoes? We got some persimmons? The passion fruit? No, passion fruit's purple. Maybe they're persimmons. They could be tomatoes. We got some watermelon, it looks like. Pineapple? No, I don't think there's pineapple here. Maybe that's a guava or papaya. I don't know what that is. Let's just see what we're selling here. Anything here I would want? We got some barbershop. Oh, apparently I ran out of time. I had zero thought of uh, this was actually on a timer. Thankfully, I put something down because, Jesus, that would have very much been bad. The wild use, that is... Quite the name of your gang there, buddy. Or the Sham Crew. wonder if they're still around now. You don't see many people with their tags saying established. And whatever. Well, maybe that one is. You got ACAB 1908. They've been around for a while. You got IRA ACAB Antifa Gate 10. Maybe that's how they uh, labor their streets. 
Pizza Chris. Well, this is Greek. I mean, yeah, this looks Greek to me. I don't know if I'm going to nail the uh, specific place here in Greece, but some of this stuff looks good. That's an interesting... Is that like a chips vending machine? Let me let me uh, see the side here. Oh, no, it's just a display. That got some tag into it. I always enjoyed how people just park. Like, if this guy was in a rush somewhere, he's fucked. Like, he's got to wait for that guy to move his car out of the way. Like, all these cars here with that van there. It's a very inconsiderate way of uh, parking, but maybe that's just the way they do things there. But as far as Greek food, I mean, when you start thinking of the things that are on the list of like, all right, what do you think of when you think of Greek food? Usually olives and feta cheese, and those are god-awful. Not met an olive I like. I want to see, all right, what is on your best pizza? What do we got? Mushrooms, that's okay. Um, I'm also kind of looking at the signs here to see if I can't see exactly where in Greece we are, but I'm not seeing it. Well, you got some green peppers. That's good. Tomatoes on the vine. Hopefully you take the vine off. Those look like mushrooms. That's okay. That could be good. I would try that. Where is this place? Oh, we're just going to keep going down this, uh... Actually, before I forget, because I've done that already, we're just going to say we're in uh, Athens. I'm sure we're not. Could be in Thessaloniki. Or I've compared to um, uh, Buffalo when I drove by, and I think that mainly was because of the car I was driving in. I'm sure I told the story before of me needing to... God, these roads are so claustrophobic. He's just sticking right out there in the road. You don't give a shit. Uh, when I was driving back to make my plane out of Macedonia, I had to end up getting a ride from uh, Calithea, which is over here. From, I had to drive all the way there. And we drove by Thessaloniki, and there was a section on the highway that we saw that was just a bunch of smokestacks, which was a huge uh, concrete factory. At least that's what the guy said when I was in the car with him. I mean, I'd never, I think I've, before this car ride, when I was in there for quite a while, it was hours. It was pretty wild now that I think about it. Just being in this stranger's car, who is actually just a travel agent, and decided to uh, take time out of his day to drive all the way into another country, pick me up, and then take me back. It, it, it's such a weird Bizarre situation. Macedonia. So, I was going to, oh, we were in Thessaloniki. How about that? I was going to say, but I forgot about the time. We could be a little higher up here because this is kind of the area that Macedonia was um, located in the past. Uh, this looks to be central. Eastern Europe. This could be like uh no, roll out just a smidge like this here. I think it could be. And yeah, again, it was a weird drive. I had to sit there about thirty minutes from where I was gonna get picked up by another friend in town. The guy got a phone call that his mom died while we were driving. And God, that was and I felt bad for the guy. I was like, oh, it sucks. He finds out about this, and he's just in this car with this fucking random American he's never heard or talked to before. It was rough. I mean, I'm immensely grateful that the guy did it because that's kind of the only way I really could get back to get to my plane. But, ugh, that was rough for him. Let me see if, oh, the buses are gone. All right, so we're going to go forward here to see if I can't maybe see one of the buses that go by. Um, Peaky Bos, Centris. Uh, none of these words look completely LT. Is that Lithuania? Be like in Vilnius. 
I'm going to say it just because it's a town. Hopefully I can get uh, like near. Ooh, okay, here we go. This. Oh, now it's gone. Give me over here. All right, give me back on the sidewalk. I want to be right there. Here we go. All right. That's Commanda. Commanda? Maybe that's what that... Okay, the... Let's go. I do see the flag there. I can't make that out. Uh, let's keep going on the sidewalk here. Okay, everything seems to be conveniently blocked out, so I can't really see. This is water, I'm guessing. Melt water. It's... it's is tier why am I having a hard time saying this? Stirpto mano trasculi. I'm assuming that's how the I is said. I have again no idea. I'm sure it's let's say something I or E, it's E or E. Or maybe it just sounds like a Q or something. I don't know how Lithuanians really talk. This place looks cool though. So cobblestone street here what are we selling here tomoji is this whole street tomoji why is the sign for it like halfway down the road that seems strange well we're gonna go this way because i think maybe there's a park over here no this is a very old road or at least looks it it'd be fun to ride your bike on god that would hurt my ass going through all the Cobblestones there. What's this? This is probably like an old. Well, I guess we're not seeing it. Well, I'm, maybe I wanted to. Thank you. Well, now the bus is in the way. I'm being thwarted wherever I go to try to see what this is. Picture of. Let's go back to the front of this because this had flag colors on it. Yeah, that's very much what Lithuania. Oh, it's a little stork. Is that like a culture thing with his, uh, Lithuania with storks or cranes, whatever that is. Oh, this guy's on a backpack. Okay. I wonder how painful that gets or uncomfortable after a while. I'm sure with any backpack, like even the hiking one I got up after a while, it's just a little, uh, a little rough on the shoulders. No, we were very much on the waterfront at, at Clypedia, which is where Lithuanian encyclopedias are made. or Lithuanian Pedialyte. Very good for hangovers. I don't think I've actually ever had Pedialyte before. My grandfather used to have it. Safe Harbor Summer Fair. Tombola, Grand Raft, Hook a Duck. No thank you. I don't know what that means. Friars Close. Well, this is Northern Europe. Very much could be there. I'm maybe seeing if I can't find a, uh, like, one of those telltale British words, like color, maybe spell with a U. Well, this is a very British street thing. Is this like a, it's a weird green light. Weird, what's that supposed to, like, stand for. Okay. United Reformed Church. We've got Pulford Road, Iyer, Bebbington Road. That doesn't... So we're in... I think it, it's it's very much England. Like, I'm not seeing um, strange English letters with a lot of L's put together. That would make me think it's Welsh. I'm not seeing a lot of G words, which makes me think it'd be Ireland or Northern Ireland for that matter. Clatter Bridge. The M53. Okay. Let's look for the M53. And I would not be surprised again if this actually ends up being over here. But can I find the M53? Um, on the M50. That doesn't help me, though. All right, let's just take a look over here if the M53 actually exists. I doubt it does, but M1's over there. All right, it is not there. Let us 
take a look at Scotland. I know it's not Scotland, but M53. We're just going to go around the coastline here. So that's how I'm going to approach this. I mean, it could also be, but I doubt it. South Africa, a very rainy day in Australia. I don't think so, though. Yeah, we're at the tip. I don't see it. New ferry. Could it be? I doubt it's Jersey or Guernsey. Yeah, they're the A12 or something. Whatever. I don't know where that is. Okay, I've seen goddamn 54. So it's got to be like here. But it's not. So I'm going to click here and try to find something else to look at in the 48 seconds I have. The village. Okay, there is a road sign up here that we've blown right by. What do we got? Yeah, Bebbington and the new ferry. Port Sunlight Village. So we're like near water. In Bebbington. Could be like in Gloucester? Or is it... Oh, M53. Okay, ha ha. Ooh, found it. Bebbington. <laughs> Elsmere Port. Barnston. Um, there was a B something or other, wasn't there? Oh, it was right there. I was just... Couldn't see it. That was very much... 95% of me not just floundering around and then the last 10 seconds it actually pulled it out. Wynnum Library. Brisbane. Ah, well. It's not Brisbane. It's Brisbane. Let's, my squeaky mouse. I'm just going to click right here and give ourselves a good place to start from. As we Try to just hone it down more specifically. Let's get through the usual highs and how we doing. Hope your uh, week's gone well. If not, well, week's over, so you can start again. Um, it is weird how, I was thinking about this earlier, that, yeah, it is the sixth month of the year, but really the actual halfway point of the year is actually July 2nd. So it's weird that the seventh month actually is halfway through the year, technically. You can never do this. Well, actually, if you want to be a dick to somebody and just say, well, halfway through the year is actually on a July 2nd. Not finding these anywhere. I like saying exactly where we are. But we keep clicking. It just feels hot here. Now, they, they wear pants. It's another thing I don't understand with people living in hot climates is how comfortable they are in like long sleeve shirts and pants. But I think that's just a, a thing of being there. You're just used to it. But although it's, I think it's snowing right now in Australia. Um, yeah, it's been a pretty average week. Nothing new on my end. Nothing all that exciting, at least for. A YouTube discussion, or I'd want to actually talk about a YouTube discussion, but enough of that. Ooh, is that Acai? Acai? Fancy bowls. I don't think I've actually had uh, the, the actual fruit itself. I've always just seen it in uh, like a bowl with some other stuff in it, or as a drink. Um, yeah, this weekend it's going to be low-key. I did hike on last week. It was a good... Uh, Warm up basically for not having have done it in a while because everyone was sequestered inside, and yeah, it was it was great. I got to the top. I s took the entire hike when I was doing it. That I was just playing kind of like dodgeball with uh, these little salamanders are on the ground. That they're Fs, I guess the EFT. They're the juvenile version. That I guess. After they're hatched, they live on land and just eat little small things like 
worms and snails and slugs. And whenever it rains, at least up here, you gotta like look down and you'll just see anything from bright orange to kind of a muddy greenish yellow. And they're everywhere, so I'm just sitting there, just stepping all around, or just making sure not to step on them. Because I don't wanna. They're cute little buggers, and I don't wanna step on them because it doesn't take much effort for me not to step on them, so why not just take a little effort and not do it? And then as soon as I got to the top, pace was good. I sat down and I looked at the view and I'm like, oh yeah, I missed this. This is why I like doing it. And it got me all excited to start doing it again. Where, oh, I think it's low tide. At least it kind of looks like it. Yeah. Where I'm excited to do this. Not this weekend, next weekend. Get out there and start hiking some more stuff because it's been fun. Very much enjoy it. But that was a quick little peruse around the around the ugh, peruse around the world. And as always, I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, complaints, suggestions, tips, hints, thoughts, likes, comments, subscribes, do all of those things, please, and put them all below the video too. I will read them and get back to you as soon as I can. Weekend's coming. Go enjoy your weekend, folks. It's uh, much needed as far as rest and relaxation. And I will be here on Friday, or Monday, excuse me, to uh, do another state. Hope to see you there. Have a good one, folks. Goodbye.